Good morning, everyone, or a good night, or good afternoon, wherever the world you are, um, wherever in the world you are. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be cleaning, actually, the first half of the day. First, I'm going to be completely cleaning my desk, and then cleaning my laptop as well, because it's been a while, and my laptop's white, so you get the point. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of productive things today, so stay tuned. I don't know if you guys realized, but there's actually a painting that was missing from my wall. It was a dragon painting that fell off some time ago, so I stuck it back on with some double-sided tape. This one. Physics started, so I had to focus. Physics class had ended and I was really craving a snack and I'm trying to be healthy Which I've never done before, but I am trying so carrot sticks and hummus was the go-to So then after chemistry class I decided to eat lunch So after I finished lunch, I realized that my nails were long overdue so I used this color show nail polish remover from Maybelline to first take off all the remaining nail polish off of my nails. So after that, I cut, shaped my nails and removed any excess dirt. And I used this nail polish from Superdrug, like a pinkish purple color. And first I applied a very thin coat and then I let it dry and then applied a thicker coat so it was more glossy. So, here are the finished nails. So after I took a bath, I lit up a new candle. The candle is from Miniso, and I got it from my mom as a Christmas present. So, after that, I just did my basic, very basic, lotion and lip balm routine. And after that, I decided to scroll through Pinterest for very long while. Um, my Pinterest feed is all over the place. It's very messy. Is yours like that too? So at 6.30, I finished my tuition and did tuition homework. And now I sat down and did some bullet journaling, which I really, really love. It's like an indication that I'm doing something productive. Do you hear kids screaming? Anyways. So I'm going to be doing a very quick bullet journal flip through. This is my bullet journal for 2022. And this is a front page with just a simple plant sketch. And moving on, we have a very basic key and a moon kind of sketch, which says 2022. And then we have the future log. I haven't really filled out the dates yet and done anything yet, but I will be doing it soon. So this is the other six months. Then I have a goals page and I have um, academic, personal, savings and other. And on this page I have shows and movies to watch. And if I finish them, I've highlighted them in yellow. Moving on, this is my January spread inspired by Amanda Ridgely. She got me into bullet journaling and yeah, it's heavily inspired by her January 2022 spread. Yep. Then moving on, I have the mood tracker, which is just simply dots, I mean circles colored in. And I haven't filled out everything yet, but I will soon. Then I have a very simple seven day weekly spread. I feel like this works best for me and the spaces are perfect. So yeah, this is my 2022 bullet journal. Then I got hungry again and it was dinner time. So the recipe is saute some onions and garlic in some oil and add salt, pepper, and the zucchini. 
Toss it around with some chili powder, herbs, and chili flakes. Add some water for it to cook down and take your roti. And I have some olive hummus with me. So the same thing I used for the carrots. I spread that around the roti generously. And then I put this cooked zucchini on top of it and voila! For dessert, I had one of these coconut cookies that my mom got from the bakery downstairs. It was really, really good. Thank you so much for tagging along with me today. Make sure to follow my Instagram account at piggypaints.